can't make it down the mine shaft. The well opening is too small. Well, I might as well take a look around. No, Timmy! Don't travel deeper! I'll get you out! Travel deeper? I'll get you out? Okay. Oh my god! This isn't a well or a mine shaft. This is a series of interconnected caves. It sure is dark. I should have listened to Dan. Timmy's clothes ripped apart, his shoes turned to shreds, the soles of his feet scarred up and became calloused. Timmy survived for years licking slime and mold off rocks. I'm so hungry. No matter how much slime I slurp, my tummy grumbles. Timmy hears the succulent sound of fish playing in the water. Timmy, try as he might, is not quick enough to catch a fish. Afraid of scaring away his prey, he wills his stomach to stop grumbling. He becomes as still as a statue, conserving what little energy he has left. The instant little Timmy feels slimy scales brush up against his leg, he lunges and snatches a fish out of the water, piercing the fish with his nails. The fish violently thrashes about, slapping Timmy in the face several times. Whee! 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 This fish isn't going down without a fight. I caught it! Unhand me, you brutish ape! Ugh. Timmy snaps its neck in one swift motion. Timmy stumbles upon a mushroom farm and helps himself to some fungus. Ock! You better not be eating the mushrooms of temporal displacement! Uh, I'm just so hungry! I've been subsisting off slime and mold for so long! Those mushrooms are sacred and not for the uninitiated. You'll go berserk, or worse, stuck in the astral realm! The wh what Every living thing that consumes the magic mushrooms becomes interconnecting in a transcendent universal consciousness. How do you think the fishes talk, laddie? I just thought I was going insane! So Timmy and the hermit mushroom farmer became fast friends, laughing together. <laughs> ock, ock. They went splunking together. They drew cave paintings illuminated by iridescent glowworms. They domesticated blind cave lizards. The days turned into months, turned into years. The hermit indoctrinated Timmy into his unique school of earth magic. Through inscribing sigils on the cave walls, mushroom growth increased tenfold. So hey, Mr. Hermit, why are you down here anyways? I'm an outcast. My intense curiosity for magic and the occult terrified the townsfolk. I had nothing but good intentions. I refused! To contain my genius. People always fear what they can't understand. I also created a few flesh-eating mud golems, but they hated me before that, I swear. One day, the boy was exploring the cave system. What's that? It's like a needle in my eye. The distant memory of the surface world unclouded Timmy's mind. A way out! I gotta go tell the hermit! With a bright smile on his face, he turns and runs back to camp. Old hermit! Old hermit! Come quick! The old hermit comes out of his shack. The one he and Timmy built out of lizard hides and bones. <clears throat> As Timmy explains his discovery, the hermit's crooked smile turns into a crooked frown. Ock! I told you not to go in the forbidden passage! The hermit advanced threateningly towards Timmy. Timmy ran back to the forbidden passage. The hermit chased him. And after being unable to catch him, slams his earth staff into the ground, causing an earthquake. The entire cave system began rumbling. Rocks smashing about everywhere. Perhaps the old man's magical abilities were getting rusty, for he was struck down by a rogue stalactite, not little Timmy. Ah! Hermit? Are you okay? If this is one of your dirty tricks, I'll never come back! My legs! Ah, oh, come back and help me here, boy! Y your legs? They're completely crushed! I know I, I meant to block your path, but earth magic can never truly be mastered by a mortal. I'll go get help! No, it's too late for me. 
Stay with me, boy. I have one final favor to ask you. Anything. Just tell me anything and I'll do it. Timmy, you must consume my flesh. That is the only way to keep my spirit alive. What? You have to eat me. Eat me mangled legs. I can't eat you. You are like a father to me. Do it. Do it while I still have some life left in me. (laughs) Sobbing, Timmy bites a chunk out of the old man's paralyzed leg. In his final dying breath, the hermit breathes. Take my staff. You've been handed down the ancient magic. Go to the surface now and take vengeance on the world.